Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm just down at the water here and I thought I'd just go through some of the lures I use for Australian bass, uh, Murray Cod, Silver Perch and Yellow Belly. Uh, this is an updated video of the last lure video I did, probably about a year ago. If you want to check out the original video, I'll leave it on the, the screen above so you can check that one out. So this is my selection of lures I use for the fish that I target. But yeah, hopefully you find something that you haven't used yet or that you totally agree with. Also, let me know down in the comments what your favorite lure is for targeting these species. So in this little uh, video demonstration, I'll also provide some videos of how the work lures work and some of the fish that I've caught on them. So basically, um, lure storage, I keep them all in these little uh, 3600 series Plano tackle boxes here. So these are the type of uh, surface lures that I like to use for like Australian bass and yellow belly. So they're basically like, you know, little, little cicadas, little insects. We've got a little bee here. That's the um, TMCO, soft shell cicada. And I also like using um, hoppers. These are pretty good. So um, yeah, like little, little like soft things that land in the water and, you know, mimic like a insect that's fallen from the tree they do really really well as you can see this one has been beaten up quite a bit but um yeah they do really well so for deeper stuff when i'm targeting bass and yellow belly i'll move on to these uh, little shallow and deep diving crankbaits you know i try to stick to the the 50 mil or the 75 mil uh try and keep it like still a small profile but still has some good action on it so when I go to the shop I usually look at the bill size and that's how I determine if they're a good lure or not this one's pretty good yeah. tiny blitz doctor so also when I'm going on a little a small trip for like a couple of hours or so I'll bring this little uh, fishing bum bag thing so it's got everything I need in it. So in the front pocket, it's got my leader and tools and fishing license and such. And in this compartment, the main one, I just keep um, some spare plastic. So like the TRD crawlers, they're pretty good. Um, and I just keep like these little spare boxes when, when I go on little trips. So currently, I've rigged it as my bass and yellow belly setup. So, so these are my favourite lures by far. So, my favourite top water lure at the moment. If I can get that out. Yeah, my favourite top lure lure at the moment is this micro pompadour. See, it's got really, really loud and it, it's amazing in the water. You should check it out really really good and they've got like this propeller at the back it does so much movement in the water and I've just got a couple of uh, divers and spinner baits a couple of divers what I know works well is these little jig spinners you know add a little plastic to a, um, a jig head and just add this little uh, spinner spinner blade on it and then you've got like a you know, a little jig spinner that you can take out wherever. Now coming over here, this is my my latest uh, fishing gear setup. So this is more of my like everyday stuff. So I've got a more deeper uh, diving uh, curly tail spinnerbait, and then these are my custom-made uh, crayfish jigs. They've got rattles and skirts and everything, and they're really, really effective. I've been catching a lot of bass, especially in like skinny creeks. You'd think you'd use them in like dams and stuff, where the water gets really deep, but um, no, nah, they do really well. And like, 
here's some of the action that you can see in the water and like the bass seem to love it so if you guys want a video on how I make these jigs just leave it down in the comments below and I will do it upon request so moving on to lures for cod so as you saw before this micro pompadour is by far my favorite and I had to get the the bigger model because it just works so well and I thought it'd be a great lure for cod so it's, it's basically the same but a lot bigger and a lot louder and the cod will go mad over this so it's kind of like a, an injured like bird or something that's fell out of a nest and does really really well next one is like these uh, little pencil style divers love the color on like the green and the yellow and the orange it's got a lot of sound as well they do really well I love throwing up uh, frogs and rats as well for for cod I've got my selection of rats and cods and these little tadpoles here but yeah these ones work really well now also I've got a large variety of spinnerbaits got ones with uh, really heavy heads and really big gold blades you know just to get that reflection in the water happening and that really that drives the cod mad I love it so to target silver perch you basically want to uh, mimic a lifelike insect or worms so uh, that's why I use like curly tail plastics and like little paddle tail plastics like that give that real lifelike action in the water I find when I use like hard bodies and you know artificial hard lures it doesn't give the same effect and the silver perch are kind of picky. So these are some of the plastics that I like to use, a bit of chase bait uh, paddle tails and then either the Z-Man two, two and a half inch curly tail grubs or my little crayfish here, they do so well. Yeah so this is my selection of the freshwater native species. Of Australia so I love targeting native fish so let me know down in the comments what lures you use and what fish you love to target so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video